Hey guys, Paradude here, and I wanted to say thanks for all of you guys that watched the video on my Backbone Bar wallet. I was uh, surprised to get that many views and that many likes and that many comments, so thanks again. Um, I did want to show you guys today um, my take on a, uh, a survival bracelet, you know, something that you can use um, for an emergency, uh, but more importantly, something that you can really deploy quickly instead of untying and untying and untying like some of the other things. Not that Solomon bars and everything else aren't great, because uh, they are. I make them. I enjoy making them. Um, but this is a little different play on a stitch that I learned from JD at tying it all together called the blaze bar. Um, and I, uh, I believe I make it the same way, except I just use loops um, so you can pull them out of the middle quickly um, when you use them. And I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Um, I'm using right now an anchor shackle. And you do need this in order to make the bracelet, you know, work the way it does. And uh, it's a bow shackle, actually, and it's a 3 16 inch one, and I bought it from Home Depot. You can get it from any hardware store, um, you know, what have you. Uh, but I'm going to start, I have 14 feet of OD Green paracord, and I found that that works uh, pretty good for my wrist size. I'm a size 7 wrist. And I'm going to just feed the loop through the bow shackle here. And then I'll take the two strands and just pull them through. And then bang, now you have a little cow, cow hitch right here. And I like to work on a hook so it's stable for me. Um, the hardest thing is actually just getting this started. Um, and I'll explain to you guys the, the biggest thing here. Now look, I take the two strands and I make loops. So I'm about a 7 inch wrist and I like to go 7.5 inches. Right now I'm just guessing where the distance is. Um, just to show you guys quickly you know what I'm doing here. But you can see there's two loops right now. I'm going to treat each loop like it's one strand while I'm doing the blaze bar. So if you guys can see I'm taking my left strand right here and I'm going to just run it around almost like a half hitch around all of the cords except I'm not going to run it through. I'm just going to have it around these. Now, this left loop is one cord, this right loop I'm treating as one cord. So I'm going to go over the left, under the right. Take the right strand. I go underneath the left standing end here. Then I go over the, le over the right loop, under the left, through the loop, and pull. Okay. Now I just want to cinch this down so it's tight, and I'm just going to push it up. So it's right here. So here's your first stitch. Now we're going to start on the right side. Right goes under the right, over the left. Left goes over the standing end, under the left, over the right, through this loop on the right side. Push it up with my thumb, pull tight, and there's your first completed stitch of the blaze bar. Okay, so now we're back to the beginning again. We're going to start on the left. Okay, left goes over, under the right. The right standing in goes under the left, over this right, under these, through the loop. Come up, pull tight. And I don't over tighten this because you do want to be able to pull it out of the middle when you, when you need to use this. So that's something to keep in mind. So now we're on the right side. Right goes under the right, over the left. Left goes over the standing end, under the left, over the right, and then through the loop that's created on the right here. Pull. Cinch it up. Pull tight. Push up. And one more time. We're back to the left. Left strand goes over the left, under the right. We're here. Right strand goes under the standing end, over the right, under the left, through the loop on the left. So we're here. Push up, tighten. Back to the right side. Right goes under the right, over the left, left side over the standing end, under the left, over the right, through the loop on the right. Push up, Tighten both ends down. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see that, how it's getting formed now. I'm going to work this all the way down, and I'm going to leave about this much space for these two loops to go through the pin on the top here. So I will finish this up, and then I will revisit. All right, guys, so I have finished the blaze bar, and I'm just going to take it off the hook here so you guys can see. Bring it down the camera. 
let it focus a little bit there we go and now we're left with these two loops right here so this is the way I like to end it I'm going to flip this around to show you guys all I'm going to do is make a slip knot with the right cord and a slip knot with the left cord as well and um, let's see here so I'm going to start on the right I'm going to make a loop go over and then feed the cord through itself just like this and tighten it down so I have it just like that I'm going to bring this right loop over the two middle ones and then cinch it down so you're left with this now I'm going to do the same exact thing on the left side make a loop so the cord is going out toward the left feed it through and cinch it down here um, this really, the 14 feet worked out really well because I'm left with pretty much nothing. And uh, let's see, here we go. Feed the left loop over the two middle ones again and tighten. So at this point, this is what you're left with on the bottom. Here it is at the top. And to finish this off, I would actually cut the right strand, melt it, and just push it into the little loop right here, and then cut the left strand melt it, push it in right in, so it would just look like this without the two cords, um, which holds up really well. I've been wearing uh, one that I made for a while. And then uh, when you guys, if you don't know how this anchor shackles work or the bow shackles, when you put it on your wrist, you feed the loops. Um, I like to feed them through one side, just like this. That'd be around your wrist and you feed it through, and it would sit Oops. So it sits just like this. So you have a completed wristband here. But best thing about this, and this is the why the reason why I make them, you undo it from your wrist, you have the bar. Stick this back through. And now look, I'm gonna start at the end here, put my finger through, and I'm gonna go right at the top. And I'm gonna pull. And look. It's all undone. So all I did was just pull tight from the top, comes undone in seconds, and then you're left with the beginning, this, this cow hitch. So you can loosen that, pull the cord through, take it off the anchor shackle, and this literally did use up about 14 feet of cord, I mean just under. Okay, and then you're left with the two little slip knots at the end, and you just pull those through. There you have it, guys. So hopefully uh, this will help, something that you can make something that you can rely on having uh, the cord if you ever need it quickly. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe.